there's Sharon Osborne. There she oh, is. This looking is fabulous. 20 past midnight in LA, so she's probably had a few. Mm. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling wonderful. There's nothing like listening to a good old English row going on <laughs> first thing in the morning. <laughs> Do you sing Rule Britannia, Sharon? <laughs> Of course. There we go. Of course. <laughs> well, what is, Sharon, I mean, you're a, you are a great patriot of this country, despite living a lot of your time abroad and stuff, as I've done. Um, what is going on, would you think, that we've, we're starting to rewrite the history of our country and start to look so negatively on things like Winston Churchill, Rule Britannia, all the things that I think have unified us as a nation? That made us great as a nation. And the thing is, I don't just think it's in England. I think it's all over. There are these people that have got, you know, not enough to think about in the day. So they want to go backwards in our history. And it's, it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. We also had the share on this thing last week. Uh, I was very glad to see you, you agreed with me uh, about John Legend rewriting the lyrics to Baby It's Cold Outside oh. as a nod to <laughs> Me Too. That now apparently that's so offensive. And bearing in mind, it's a clip from a movie where the couple involved in Miss Little seduction and flirtation end up getting engaged. But John Legend has decided it's so offensive. Seventy years later, he has to rewrite it in a woke way. It was. It was just that song was just so innocent and lovely, and it just brings back all these great memories of listening to it at Christmas and from the past, and it's just beautiful. And I wouldn't have minded, but the lyric is so ridiculous. Yeah. Tell us about working with Danny yes. Dyer and Danny Dyer, Sharon. Well, I haven't met them yet, <laughs> so I, I'll let you know after the first week. But you're doing a bit... I think I, think I need to have a word with the Dannys about what it's like to work with Sharon Osborne. <laughs> I can tell them a few things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shh. <laughs> I do miss what I have to say. Of all the people I miss working with the most, you are number one. It was never, never dull. And never dull was it, Piers. It was always exciting. Sure, tell us Me the worst thing about Piers Morgan. Wires with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's never dull, is it? Never. never dull. Never dull. We had, have we, we've told the story about what happened on the plane, haven't we? <laughs> Yes, we had. Now, you just behave yourself. I think we'll part that one. Uh, now, how are things in the Osborne household? Because no. every week goes by, there's another headline. Everything's great. I mean, the kids are doing great. My grandkids are gorgeous. You know about Ozzy's accident. He's on the mend. Um, he, you know, he had that very, very bad fall yeah. in February of this year. But he's getting there. He's getting better, thanks, Piers. Well, do he send is. him my very best. He's one of my favourite people, Ozzy. Oh, you know I will. He he knew I was doing this tonight, and he's saying, oh, say hi to Piers, <laughs> yes, tell him <laughs> hi. <laughs> Ozzy used to fly in when we did America's Got Talent. Ozzy would just appear in various <laughs> cities, and we'd go and have these hilarious dinners. One of the funniest <laughs> people I've ever met in my life, Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, my Lord, he is hysterical. He really is. And Simon Cowell... Do you miss doing that show, Piers? Uh, you know what? Oh, I, like do, I like doing the, uh, the talent shows, but I ran out of ways of telling people they suck. That's the problem. <laughs> you haven't run out of ways, Ooh, Piers. Yeah, I've got a very large <laughs> English-language lexicon, but I just ran out of ways of telling them. Uh, talking of talent shows, Simon Cowell, you and he have one of the world's greatest on-off feuds. Oh, yeah. What's the latest at the moment? Are you talking? Are you not talking? No, I'm... T I'm talking but i haven't spoken to him in so long um it's well over it was last may i think yeah. was the last time not this year the what, year before what do you make of his dramatic weight so loss and his new vegan his new vegan lifestyle i think he looks great i think he looks absolutely great the teeth are a bit big and one eye is kind of droopy but otherwise he looks great <laughs> <laughs> oh, You've oh, got what? a great laugh, Sharon. And you're, uh, you're doing, obviously, the talk, <laughs> the, the talk uh, CBS show, massive show in America, huge hit. You're the big star of that show. And uh, hopefully when I'm over in America next time, I'll come on it and we can have our usual little joust. 
Oh, of course, you better. When are you coming back over? I'll be back. Soon in, as you like, I'll be Sharon. back in a few Soon weeks. I'll like. let you know. But uh, we look forward <laughs> to seeing you back in London, Sharon. We miss you over here. Lovely to see you. Thank you for staying up so late I for us. We appreciate you guys. it. And we'll go and see Nativity, it's the musical, my alongside the Dyers. At great the fun. event of Apollo from yeah. the 11th of December. Better get rehearsing. Sharon, you're yes, looking fabulous. You are fabulous. Special. Lovely to see you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs>